Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do another show vlog. We attended the off the track dressage and show jumping day today. We only did some dressage tests. He's not really ready to do any jumping out in public yet, but we are going to do our first ever test together, which is the prep A and the prelim 1A. So I thought I would enter him in a prep test just to get him used to the arena because he's never seen a dressage arena before and I thought cantering in it if he's looking around a bit might be a bit challenging for him but unfortunately they actually put us in the prelim first so he had to toughen up and have a go of the canter ring straight away. We are all saddled up. I've done some nice cute little quarter markers on him and I'm going to get changed and hop on. Good boy, Jacko. So our first test, which was the prelim 1A, was on very early in the morning. We actually had to leave at about quarter past four because my test was on at 6.45. So this is just my warm up. Again, like always, I try and get him stretching down, relaxing, listening to me, not worrying about what the other horses are doing. Even in the canter, I got off his back a bit and let him bowl around. Obviously, our canter is a little bit affected by the tension of going out to a show. But all in all, he warmed up beautifully. Here, I just picked him up a bit and asked him to work in a higher, more competition-like frame and he was very, very good. He's still not super strong and he still wants to sort of go back to that place of comfort, which is a bit deep and a bit behind the vertical. But I think that, again, it's just strength and balance. I just have to accept that he will roll up a little bit at this stage while he's still not super strong. So this is our first test, which was the prelim 1A. And all in all, I was really, really happy with this test. There were a few little issues with his bend, especially to the right, which is something that we really have to work on. And you can see, probably because I'm a bit nervous and not really riding as well as I could, he's a little bit unbalanced in his outline and wanting to sort of dip his nose under, sort of bring it up. He's not super consistent. But all in all, for his first test, I was so, so pleased with how he went. Cantering in the um, small little arena was still quite difficult for him. I had to work really hard to kind of keep the canter happening. But all in all, I think he did a really, really good job for his first ever attempt at a dressage test. So there were moments where he did become a bit unbalanced and sort of anticipated canter a few times um, and he got a little bit rocky in his way of going but mostly he did a really good job of listening to me and when he did get a bit rocky he definitely came back to me and listened so I was very very proud of him and how well he did today. So I think we came out with a final score of about 63%, which I was quite pleased with. And he ended up winning this class, which was very, very good for him. I have to do a bit more work on my holds too. They weren't very good. We had such a fun day. I caught up with my friend Karen and her beautiful grey horse Crash. You need to do the, um, teach him to park yeah, at the... Well, he's been really good, but what happened? Are we done? Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, you can see it. Yeah, can they see it. they, they yeah. said so it's. it's yeah, yeah. yeah, I had my number on the wrong side because, of course, I'm dyslexic, so oh, I would. Yeah. No, well, I didn't have one on each side, but they said it's an encouragement day, so it doesn't matter. Trot. It's a funny walk. Not a funny walk. Big walk. No. And then short walk, quick trot, canter fast, big kerner. <laughs> Little, Little circle. circle. Just put your reins in front of you. Cross circle. the dome. Cross the dome. Trot. trot at X. Trot at X. Then keep trotting, canter at C again. At least they canter at C both times. Yeah, that's true. Big canter. Little circle, then trot at A this time. You don't come across the diagonal. It's windy so like so make sure that your trot. Well, no, because she there. she always forgets the tests. Oh, she's. I don't worry. About <laughs> where it was so lovely like that second yeah. lengthen was beautiful I asked what? For a little bit more yeah you did ask for it you got a bit more excited <laughs> yeah, like, you're like come on let's do it yeah there we go. Hang on. Janet's got the did you see me go with the apple and the um, I think I did the walk so here is our warm-up for our second test which was the prep test and because we'd already done a canter test I kind of wish that we had have just entered two prelims because it wasn't super necessary for him just to do a walk trot test and since it was second it seemed a bit of a waste not to be able to do two prelims so this is a big problem that I have with dressage and it is not learning my tests so I thought that the first movement was trot in and halt at X and it was not. I got belled and the judge came out, told me the correct movement, which is to walk in and pick up trot at uh, D or something like that. So I re-attempted and got two marks off for an error of course, which is just standard procedure for me. Oh, it's so frustrating when it's you letting your horse down by something simple as not learning the test correctly. Um, and after that I was a little bit thrown off and didn't really have him bent round my inside leg enough for the turn. And you can see there he just hopped out of the arena. Luckily he kind of recovered quite well, but the whole um, entrance of having to redo the test and then he had that little mishap where he thought that I would like him to jump over the side of the ring and not um, turn. It was just my poor riding really and him not truly understanding what I wanted. And I think I was a little bit distracted because I had that error. So that's something I really have to work on because the whole um, first part of the test, he was just really not listening to me and a bit tight and you can see after we have our walk the second half of our test is much nicer 
he ended up getting second in this test, which was just really frustrating because I think we got 59% and um, just without those few easy mistakes, we would have got 60, which is a much more passable score. And I really just felt like I had let him down by not riding him very well at all. So poor old Jackson, he actually um, came second overall for the standard reds and he would have won if I hadn't have just had that error. But that's okay, it's just one show, it's just a learning experience. And really for me, um, it's mostly me learning that I have to organise my time a bit better at shows and I have to learn my test better at shows. show. I was really really pleased with how Jackson went for his first ever dressage tests. We had a few little dodgy moments and plenty of rider errors as per usual but I think he had a really fun day. He was an absolute gem to take out. Stood by the float. No issues there. He's such a good boy so I just let him have a little roll before I put his fly sheet back on so that's us all done for another show vlog hope you enjoyed the video and come back again to watch another one bye